So I really want to say thank you for being here at this time. We have a TVET model, a technical operating model that has served us yes, very well over the last 30, 40 years. And uh, in that model, it focused on industry, the uh, sectors. It focused on how persons will be, uh, systems will be analyzed and looked at in order to make them relevant. It looked at uh, how the industry would interface with uh, um, a training institution. It looked at uh, how we will be evaluating training. And so that model has done very well for us. But things have changed significantly. And where we are now, we're looking at systems that would be automating training. We call it a training management system. All right? Can it, can it move? And so I really want to sh show you typically how a system would look, whether it's tertiary or for regular TVET. Now, um, a TVET system is one that would certainly enable us to look at competency-based education. Because as you listen this morning to the presentation, you'd have seen where the skills pays the bills. And without the skills, you will be struggling as a country. And we'll be struggling as a country. So if you look at this graphic here, you will notice that we are looking at where persons would be, right here, thanks, where access to training is part of what we have to be configuring the system about. And uh, managed e-learning content, I see learning content developer right beside me here. You're also looking at how you access and measure such content. But in, at the back end, you have operational activities, connecting the, tech, connecting the systems uh, with technology. And we call that the training management system. Training departments are connected. A corporate type university opportunity would be uh, uh, possibly existing. But also extending that to enterprise, enterprises. Now, I want to just share with you what happened a couple of years ago. As you heard this morning, hard to be gone in 1982. And we established the NTA in 1994, 95. Now, in uh, automation begun in a very rigorous way in 97. And uh, we had a major system that were, was used to kind of manage the operation of trading, an IT system of sort in 2020, 20, 2008. But that system had some challenges. And we thought that we would certainly be looking at the, the Moodle. You know the Moodle platform? It is a learning management system that has served us very well. At the time, it didn't cost us much, so it was easy to sell that to the organization. Today, we're still using that system. But there are many, many, many more needs, and I'm going to tell you about those needs. So, we reviewed that system and saw some gaps. And uh, we thought it best to put in place an end-to-end -end training management system. I'll tell you more about that. So it, the, the COVID-19 forced a couple of strategies. I won't spend time on this. I really want to go to spending the time on where we are seeking to go. This is a little difficult to, for you to see, but it's connecting all of Hart's offering to the users. So persons will be entering training. Where is it start now? We're connecting enterprise-based training, apprenticeship, institutional-based training, community-based training, and adult continuing education. And then we seek to play, be placing these persons within the industry for work experience, for entrepreneurship, experiences and job placement. I want to spend a little time right here because this is the end-to-end -end system that we're now putting in place so that no one will be left behind. Full integration from e-recruitment right through to e-certification. The systems were disjointed. At this point, 
we are making sure that it is not only integrated, but the customer experience will be enhanced and, you know, and beautiful. So we're beginning with e-recruitment. And at that point, we'll be putting our programs in the public domain to the extent where everyone, both the customers, meaning the employers, and our trainees can interface with the system. Also, those who are in the work-based environment can be interfacing with, with our system. Then we have e-recruitment, e-admission, e-learning. And I must pause here for a while, because in the e-learning environment, we have partnered with Microsoft. We are not partner, but we have been paying Microsoft a lot of money for storage, for all of the suites that would be available to us. And uh, some time ago, in this, part, in this process of ensuring that we have an end-to-end -end system in evolution, we agreed that every user, every trainee, would have at least one terabyte of storage so that we can manage the content, the various kinds of content, in a space and be ubiquitous. And I want to pull on someone in the audience here, Mr. McKnight. Mr. McKnight, can you just tell us some of the experiences you've had from using that Microsoft experience. We are not going to be rolling this out now to the rest of the organization. Is assessment, so assessment online, and that storage that would have been provided for would have facilitated the various kinds of assessment using the video technology that you saw from Turtle and Caicos. And not only that, e-certification. So, so everything will be online to the extent where a learner coming into training, having his or her own portal, will be able to be tracking his or her, uh, pre her presence from start to finish. Everything online. So if we do the practical activities in the, in the classroom or in, this, in the labs, the grades would be uploaded. But there are some simulation activities that can be taking place online. And so we are looking at a a virtual university as part of the strategies going forward for TVET program. So we are, we are saying that the experience that we are seeking to have is going to be phenomenal. Phenomenal and I would say the customers, the experience is going to be enhanced to the max. And that's, what we, that's where we are going and I really want to thank you. Thank you.